Hello guys, today I want to show you a relatively new Laravel package called Laravel Schema Rules, which would try to generate a form request class for you with validation rules, depending on your database schema. And I want to emphasize the word would try to generate because it may have mixed results and you may want to use it with caution. So I've tried it out. It is relatively new, so from last month and a few weeks ago, but with 100 stars, it received some traction from the community, so I decided to show it to you. So basically, after installing that package and publishing the config, you can run a command schema generate rules from your migrations, or in fact, from your database. And it would output something like this, which you would be able to copy from terminal if you wish to, or it could generate the file, the form request file for you. So I've tried it out on a very simple database table from one of my demo projects called properties. String, a few decimals and timestamps. So what would it generate? If I open the terminal and run that on table name properties, the result is this. What it suggests, address required because it's not nullable, but latitude and longitude are nullable because I specify that in the migration. And then it also added created ad and updated ad. In my opinion, it's pretty pointless and useless because timestamps are auto-generated by Laravel. And this is actually the point of how that package does its job and I wanted to show you. So the definitions are taken from the database, not from migration. So actually the package doesn't even know whether it's timestamps of created ad and updated ad of Laravel or any other timestamp or date time or any other field. It just gets the columns and then assigns the rules according to the columns with its own structure. So I guess the idea itself is great, but it could be improved by analyzing the actual code of migrations and then providing better rules. Maybe it is planned in the future, or maybe some of you could help and create pull requests to that package. Finally, let's try to run that command with dash C, which would generate the actual file. So it creates the form request file with those rules that I've shown before. So potentially you could use that package instead of doing PHP artisan make request. So you would be able to edit those things manually instead of typing them by hand. Maybe pretty useful in some cases. What do you think? Would you use that in your projects? Let's discuss in the comments and see you guys in other videos.